Welcome back. Let's start to animate the third scene. So first, let's go to the beginning of the timeline and turn off both of these layers. Now, enter the logo design composition and copy the layers of the letters from here. Select the first layer, hold the shift key, and select this layer. Now, press Ctrl C to copy them. Next, go back to the main composition and press Ctrl V to paste the layers. Now, let's move the layers to the center of the scene. We can zoom in a bit. You can turn off the background so we can see what we're doing. The black color is too dark in this case, so let's change that. To change the background color of the preview screen, we need to access the settings of this composition. To do this, we'll use the shortcut Ctrl K. And now, we see the settings of our main composition, which is called Logo Animation 1. And so we can see the changes that we are doing. Make sure to check the preview box down here. Now, let's click here and change the color to gray. Pick a brighter gray, so we can see the letters. Once done, click OK here and here. And now, let's learn how to animate these letters. Let's start with the first letter, T. Let's turn off the other layers to focus only on the letter T. And now, to create the effect of exposing the letter, we need to start by creating a mask for the layer in the shape of the letter. We can achieve this by selecting the pen tool and creating the mask from top to bottom in the direction we want it to be revealed. This step is crucial as it will determine the direction of the letter's exposure later on. To begin, make sure that the layer is selected. Now, create a point at the top of the letter followed by points along the way until you reach the bottom. To round the corners, click and hold on the pen tool to open its menu and select the vertex tool. Alternatively, you can hold the alt key and click the point once to round the corner. Once done, adjust the handles to create a smooth curve. Next, create another mask for the remaining part of the letter. Start by creating the first point here. Now hold the shift key to make the line straight and create the second point by clicking at the end of the segment. After that, we need to apply a stroke effect on this layer. So let's open the effect and presets panel. If you can't see this panel, you can find it under windows. And now search for the stroke effect. This effect will help us create the reveal of the letter. So, select the stroke effect and drag it onto our layer. Now, if we open up the path parameters, you'll notice that the effect detects two masks on this layer, and we need to apply it to both of them. To do this, click on all masks. Next, increase the brush size until the letter is no longer visible. Change the brush hardness to 100%. And now, we can animate the end property to create the reveal animation. And to get the reveal effect, we need to change the paint style to original layer. Now, when you change this parameter, the letter will be revealed. All right, so now let's animate it. First, let's make sure that we are at the beginning of the timeline and create the first keyframe for the end property with a value of zero. In order to see the keyframe we've created for the effect, we need to select the layer and press U. And there it is. We see the keyframes for the end property belonging to the effect named stroke. That's exactly what we see here. Okay, now let's move to the second number two and change the value to 100%. Great, let's see what we've got. You might notice that some parts have an overlap where the two shapes meet, which looks bad. To fix this, we need to adjust the parameter that controls the stroke thickness. Moreover, we can animate this property as well. Let's set it to 2. Now go to the beginning of the timeline and create the first keyframe with the current value. To view the keyframe we created, press U. Now go to the second number 2 and adjust the value until the whole letter is visible. A value of 10 should work. Let's see how it looks. And now let's improve the animation. And we can do it by converting the keyframes to easy ease. So, the first thing we need to do is select all the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then, 
We will change the velocity for the end property. So let's click on it twice while holding the Alt key. Change it to 85 by 85 and hit OK. Let's see it once again. Awesome. And with this we have finished animating the first letter. Let's move on to the next one while repeating the same actions. First, let's start by creating a mask. So select the pen tool, pick the right layer, and start creating the mask. I want this letter to appear from this direction, so I'll start creating the mask from here. Create one point here, and one point there. And now, to create a new mask on the same layer, click on this layer first, and then start creating a new mask. Create the first point here, the second one here, another one here, then here, and the last one here. Lastly, to round the corners, hold the Alt key and click on the points you want to round. And then, adjust the handles to get a nice curve. We don't need to round this one. We can round this point, and adjust it a bit. You can hold the Shift key while moving the handles, to get a straight alignment. Okay, so the mask is ready. And now, instead of recreating the stroke effect, we can simply copy it from this layer. So let's select it. Now let's select the effect from here. Press Ctrl C. Then select this layer, make sure we're at the beginning of the timeline, and press Ctrl V to paste the effect. Once done, press U to see the keyframes of the effect. So basically, we don't even need to create new keyframes for the effect. Let's see how it looks. Great, and now let's close this layer and turn on the next letter. Once again, choose the pen tool and create a mask. Remember, the first point you will create will affect the revealing animation. So if I want the letter will start to reveal from this area, I will start to create the mask from here. Now let's round the corners. Next, copy the effect from the previous layer and paste it onto the third letter. Just don't forget to go back to the beginning of the timeline before passing the effect. I think it looks good. Now let's turn on the next letter and repeat the same actions. A quick reminder, to start a new mask for this part of the letter, Let's click on the layer once and continue creating the second mask. Don't forget to round the corners. Okay, and now let's select this layer again and press Ctrl V to paste the copied effect on it. Finally, let's do it for the last letter. I want to reveal the letter from here, so I'll start to create the first point of the mask here. Now, to create the second mask for the second part of the letter, I'll click on the layer and start to create the second mask. And now let's round the corners. I'll move this point here a little bit. We can also round this point. And this one as well. Now select the layer and press Ctrl V to paste the effect on it as well. I see that I didn't round the corners here. Let's do that now. We can also round this point. I'll move this point here a little bit. That's good enough. 
Let's see how it looks. Excellent. Let's press Ctrl S to save the project. Then we can set the preview to fit and switch back to the selection tool. Now, let's select all the layers and add a scale animation to them. Let's go to the second number two. And now, to create a scale animation, we need to open the scale property. So let's press S to see the scale for all the selected layers. We will create keyframes at this time point with the current value. Now, let's go to the beginning of the timeline and change the value to zero. And now, I want the letters to move to the left after the scaling animation. So I know that at the second number two, I want the letters to stay where they are right now. Therefore, let's press P and create the first keyframes with the current value. Now, let's go to the second number four and move the letters to the left using the left arrow key on the keyboard. Hold down the shift key while doing so to move the letters in bigger increments. Great, after that, let's enlarge this panel. Now, let's select all the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then, hold the Alt key and double click on one of the keyframes to enter the velocity panel. Change it to 85 on 85 and hit OK. Now, let's do the same thing for the scale animation. Let's press S to see the scale property. Select all the keyframes and press F9. Now, hold the Alt key, double click on one of them and change it to 85 as well. Just a quick reminder, if you want to see all the keyframes on the layers, press the U key. But we don't really need to see those keyframes right now. To hide them, we need to press the U key once again. Alright, let's check out what we've done so far. Great job! And now, we can nest all these layers into one precomp. So, let's make sure we are selecting all the letter layers and then press Ctrl Shift C. We can name this precomp text animation. Awesome. Now let's start timing between the three animated scenes we've created so far, and we will do it in the next part. So see you there.